Hello and welcome, Scorpio, to your September 16th lunar eclipse reading. The lunar eclipse will be in Pisces, so let's see what it says for you. It is also the full moon for September. O oh, Spirit, Ruler Pluto, Ruler Mars, what messages do you have for Scorpio for September, full moon, 2016? Call upon Spirit and the energies of Mars and Pluto to give us a reading for Scorpio. 2016. September full moon 2016. September full moon 2016. Messenger for this reading is the Page of Clubs. Page of Clubs means a journey, travel, in the near future. And pages always mean young people, youth. The page of clubs, a faithful and loyal person, an envoy, emissary, trusted friend, a stranger with good intentions, a consistent person, a bearer of important news. So look for someone in your nearby uh, environment, possibly a new person to give you some very important news around the full month, full moon month, some very good news. Okay, so where, what is your present position, your question, is the chariot. This means advancement, journey. You are moving forward, Scorpio. So, um, the chariot is all about, uh, though the horses wish to pull in different directions, the Russian knight who drives the chariot manages to go forward. The initials of the artist YS are on the front of the chariot. This means adversity, possibly already overcome, conflicting influences, turmoil, vengeance, success, possibly a voyage or a journey, escape, rushing to a decision, need to pay attention to details, urgency to gain control of one's emotions. So uh, when this news comes, try to uh, be patient, um, try to uh, be calm, Scorpio. Uh, what is crossing you? The king of coins, so great abundance is in your near future. King of Coins. This is very positive male energy, and it speaks of an experienced and successful leader, a person of character and intelligence, business acumen, mathematical ability, a loyal friend, reliable marriage partner, wise investment, ability to acquire money and valuable possessions. So in your immediate environment, Scorpio, you are faced with someone who is a very good business partner, who is a very good life partner, who is a nurturing male energy which wants to invest, uh, which wants to build, which is constructive. Um, and in this, uh, 
you should keep grounded and not move too fast. Above you, in your headspace, is the Wheel of Fortune. It is the card of fate, destiny, karmic wheel, of, uh, and Akashic Records. It is the Four Gospels mascots, which I recently learned could be astrolo astrological signs, um, surrounding a hermetic wheel of symbols with the Sphinx on top and the Kundalini Serpent below. And the Wheel of Fortune um, speaks of destiny, fortune, fate, outcome, culmination, approaching the end of a problem, good or bad luck, depending on the influences of nearby cards, inevitability. The wheel suggests the course of events from beginning to end, advancement for better or worse. So you have recently met uh, this king of coins or become this king of coins and now it's um, uh, keep in mind that you don't have to give any answers today about anything. You can wait until Mercury is out of retrograde on the 22nd and then um, you know make your decisions from there but this is very uh, favorable and it's saying it's about time. Now, in the distant past, we have the Nine of Swords, Scorpio. And this speaks of great amount of suffering, pain, uh, hardship, concern, miscarriage, anxiety over a loved one, and despair. So you're, you're, we're very emotionally hurt in your distant past, Scorpio. Now, in your recent past, you've had the Hierophant. And this speaks of a, a leader, <coughs> excuse me, a spiritual leader who is orthodox and conservative in their nature. The Hierophant resembles Saint Duke Vladimir. He holds a scepter and a Russian Orthodox cross. It means ritualism, mercy, kindness, forgiveness, inspiration, compassion, servitude, inactivity, timidity, captivity to one's own ideas, a tendency to cling two outdated ideas and principles, conformity, a religious or spiritual leader. So you had great amount of emotional pain, you found this amount of solace, this belief system, this new lifestyle, this new group to become a part of, this new um, like philo philosophical outlook on life, which has gotten you to where you are now, and in your future influence, your concerns, anxieties, and moving into the future, we have the Falling Tower. Um, and the Falling Tower speaks of great change on a physical and material level. It, it speaks of a entirely new existence based on a breakdown of the old and a rebirth of the new, like the Phoenix. Um, Okay, so the Falling Tower. Now, in, in the uh, chariot, it, it spoke of victory, but it spoke of victory after strife. And this Falling Tower is zero strife, is this strife. So, the Imperial Crown falls from the tower along with gold coins crosses and other religious objects, and a man and a woman symbolizing the fall of the Russian Empire in 1917. It means complete and sudden change, a breakdown of old beliefs, abandonment of past relationships, the severing of a friendship, the changing of one's opinion, unexpected events, bankruptcy, downfall, loss of stability, and a loss of security. Okay, so so things are moving on, things are changing, be prepared. Now what is your uh, influence on others, their influence on you and your immediate circumstances is Eight of Swords. And this is a woman who is bound and tied to a stake and she has a whole bunch of swords around her. So not a comfortable position. Crisis, conflict, domination, imprisonment, turmoil, 
bad news, criticism, sickness, and calumny. Oh dear, Scorpio, I am very sorry to hear it. You are going through a very, very hard time, particularly around relatives right now. Possibly this Nine of Swords that was in your distant past. It has returned to the Eight of Swords. Now, above you, in your environment, you feel trapped. You have the Devil. It is the 15th card. And no wonder. Um, now, these are people who surround you. It is also your environmental circumstances. But it is the present position you find yourself in as well. So, you find yourself chained. But it is within your power and within your mind and within your destiny to break those chains. The devil's face resembles Joseph Stalin, who ruled the USSR for 30 years. His powerful body symbolizes the intensity of his power. Tattoos represent his power's criminal nature, and bat wings symbolize its extent. The martial star above him is the symbol of the, his victories. The horns show the devilish cunning from which he holds his winnings. The two eyes on his chest are the vigilance of the secret police. The devil's chains trap a man and a woman deprived of civil rights. It means ravage, bondage, malevolence, subservience, downfall, weird experience, bad outside influence or advice, black magic, unexpected failure, inability to realize goals, violence, shock, fatality, self-punishment, temptation to evil, and self-destruction. So this, this is the culmination and ending of um, possibly a horrible job, a horrible state of living, or a horrible relationship that you've grown out of, um, probably because of this hierophant, and now you have to break everything down in order to move forward like the chariot into this king of coins, which is um, a, a positive abundance, sense of abundance. So in your emotions right now you have death. Um, this is great transformation though not physical death. It is um, uh, a putting aside of old ways. A huge rotting head on a battlefield resembles the head in Pushkin's story Ruslan and Ludmilla. It looks left Toward the past, other symbols of death, skull, sword, fallen warriors, scythe, are scattered about. The raven will feast on their remains. It means transformation, a clearing away of the old to make way for the new, an unexpected change, a loss, an alteration, abrupt change of the old self, though not necessarily a physical death, the end of familiar situation or friendship, financial loss, a new era, illness, possibly death. So, do not... Fear, strive for, be brave at this time, Scorpio. Um, you are emerging from a cocoon like a butterfly, is what I'm being told. So, your conclusion is the Nine of Clubs. And this is someone who is straightforward, honest, loyal. Um, and someone who uh, stands up for what they believe in. Nine of Clubs is expectation of difficulties and changes. Anticipation, some hidden enemies, some deception, discipline, order, a pause in a current struggle. So this is recommending, Scorpio, that you pause your current struggle, um, that you take a time out and you really examine what is around you, examine what changes you need to make, and it involves order and self-discipline, which, um, and, and this order and self-discipline will move you forward. It will allow you to, to receive this message of abundance, is what the reading is about with the page of clubs and then the king of coins. Um, the universe with the wheel of fortune is saying that it wants more abundance for you in the future. And that through adopting the Hierophant a little bit more and uh, making those changes, 
you are going to find yourself free in a new way that you have never been, particularly emotionally. You will be freed from constriction of others. Okay. So, do not fear. Stand your ground. You can get through this, Scorpio. And once you get through that, that king of coins, that prosperity and abundance is waiting for you. So, <clears throat> now a clarifier card from the fairy oracle. Fairies, what message do you have for Scorpio? September 16th, 2016, please. Okay, we have a message for Scorpio for September full moon 2016 the hidden one the hidden one so the last card was about deception in your immediate environment you don't have all the information, which is the issue. And uh, this is the hidden one. Speaks of awareness, attention, self-absorption. Crouching, waiting, watching. As you walk along, she's the hidden one poised to stick her foot out and trip you. She grabs your hair and gives it a painful tug, kicks you in the shin and laughs when you fall over. Why? What purpose does she serve in the fairy or in our world? She serves the same purpose as every fairy to help you become more aware. If you don't watch, if you don't look, if you don't see this time, she'll make sure that next time you do. Fairy sends her out when you are persistently unaware of your surroundings, when you don't pay attention to what is going on around you, not just physically, but emotionally as well. How are your actions affecting or not affecting everyone around you? Are you passing blindly through the day, through relationships, and through life itself? She'll trip you up and make you stop and pay attention. That's her job, and she's good at it, so be aware. The hidden one may be waiting for the next step you take. So be aware, Scorpio, that there is some amount of deception that you have been letting slide um, because perhaps you could hide it well and you didn't need to express your emotions of displeasure about it. But at this time, it is saying you definitely need to step in and no longer allow anyone to emotionally hurt you or harm you. Um, set them straight, even if it requires um, some sort of financial um, penance. Uh, and don't hold any grudge, because this is part of your um, life cycle, part of the deal you made and came into in this life. And so really, they, as painful as it is to recognize this is completing a karmic cycle, a karmic contract, if you will, in order to move forward and be rewarded for um, facing this challenge. So I hope that this reading has helped you sincerely, Scorpio. Um, and I wish you an excellent, excellent full moon. Namaste, Satnam, and God bless. Blessings to all, many blessings. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm Dedham Carr. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Take care.